So this is going to be a, just a quick video to show you how to back up your old uh, Game Boy cartridge game saves. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail here. I have a list of instructions and other information on my blog. So you could follow that uh, for more detailed information. But sometimes it's easier to just see how something works. So I'm just going to show you how uh, things are going to work here. And you could uh, read the instructions and then follow through. So we got three things. We have the Mega Memory Card made by Interact. And this is now, you know, out of print. Um, you basically plug your Game Boy cartridge in here, sort of like a Game Shark, and then this end would go into a Game Boy. So that is a device we're going to use to copy the game, save from here to here. Uh, this is a Game Boy USB 64M smart card. This has a little USB port up there. You plug it in to the USB cord and you copy the file to your computer. So this is what you do. You take your game save, you copy it to the Mega Memory Card, then you tell the Mega Memory Card to save that file to the Game Boy USB cartridge. And then you take that cartridge, you plug it into the computer, and you have your file saved on your computer. So the first step of course is backing up the game. So we're gonna put our Pokemon Red game into our Mega Memory Card. Sorry I'm gonna do this one-handed because I don't have uh, a tripod handy. So put the memory memory card, the Mega Memory Card rather, in the Game Boy. I'm using Game Boy Advance here and uh, we're gonna make sure the switch on the top is on the right. Because if it's not switched to the right it's the pass-through mode. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, it boots up, and we're going to go, it's hard to see here because the, the screen is not backlit, but uh, we have some options here, backup, restore, delete, etc. So you basically go to backup, I'm not going to do it now because I, I don't have another free hand. You basically go to backup, it saves the game to the memory card. And after it saves the game, you could turn the system off. Then you will eject that and put in the USB card here. Make sure the switch is in the same position again. We're going to turn the system on. It's going to boot up just like before. Sometimes it doesn't. You have to clean the cartridge. But then we're going to go to restore. And then we will restore the save we just backed up to the cartridge. And once that is done turn off and then we can eject the cartridge and plug into the USB port on the computer. You cannot leave the cartridge plugged into anything whether the Game Boy is on or off while you plug the USB cord in because it will not work. It will not. So I'm gonna plug this in here. It's a little mini USB used on cameras. Let's see if we could uh, get it to pop up here. I'm using a Parallels desktop on a Mac so the tools are available for Mac, but I have not tried it yet. I just used a shortcut of this. So um, we're going to open the program called uh, uh, GM underscore uh, GB rather underscore USB, and that's going to load up. It's going to find our save. I have to go to page two here sometimes. So okay, that name is Adventure. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to name it something. So you go to save it, you see I have tons of saves in here. So I'm just going to name this save. And you have to put .sav after it, otherwise your Game Boy emulator will not know what to do with it. and It will not read the file. So I'm just going to save this. You can see the progress bar go by, it's saving the actual file to the computer. Okay, I'm going to use a, a game I already have saved here. So I'm going to open uh, Visual Boy Advance. That's a good... Uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulator. Just gonna open uh, Pokemon Red. And don't ask me where to get the ROMs. I'm not gonna tell you. It's a whole other story. Uh, to get your game save into the game, you have to go to File, Import, click on Battery File, and I'm gonna navigate here to my saved items. So here is. Let's go to number one. And see my old red save click open it's gonna make sure you want to do it because you're gonna lose all information that you know is currently playing but we didn't start anything so that's fine click OK 
It's going to start up here. Okay. And as you can see, it says continue. So my game is here from when I was a kid. Everything's intact here. My Pokemon, all my badges, everything. So, as you can see, this game is fully functioning in the emulator, and the save file was taken directly from my old red cartridge onto the computer. So now you can save it, you can email it to yourself, you can back it up, you'll have it forever. You don't have to worry about the battery dying inside of the cartridge. Because the batteries do not last forever. Here's a open cartridge, you can see a little button battery inside of this Pokemon cartridge. And uh, they do not last forever. This cartridge looks like the date of it was September 1998. So that's uh, about 13 years old. So batteries die, things break, so it's best to have a backup. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please look at the blog post I have linked in more information that will give you all the details of how to do this because I did have some shortcuts in this video. Thanks.